Dash Cam is a found footage horror film on Netflix. It is about Annie Hardy playing a fictionalized sort of version of herself. Apparently she's really like weird in real life and uh, there's some stuff going on. She decides to visit a friend named Stretch and Stretch's wife. They are like super into health food and stuff and Annie kind of clashes with anyone because she's like really rude to people and uh, entitled and She's a bad friend, and anyway, she tags along with Stretch's Uber Eats job, I guess, and uh, gets into a fight with him and his wife and steals the car. And while she's, um, I think she's just driving around, uh, doing an Uber Eats job, she uh, accepts money to transport someone somewhere, someone who looks out of it, and the person turns out to be uh, possessed by a demon or something. So Annie it is now like, in dire straits because she's got this unhinged older woman who keeps like bleeding and pooping all over the place and then Stretch finds her and it basically just becomes a sort of horror show of them being attacked and then someone shows up with a gun. Um, Dash Cam is an interesting sort of little experiment. It's super low budget in the vein of like Host, that movie that was done completely over Zoom or whatever. Or any, uh, in terms of found footage, the movie kind of cheats a little bit because it edits a lot of the live streaming stuff. Um, you'll have like the camera shake a lot to sort of hide something and then they'll just cut to something happening. It happens quite a few times in the film and it, it, for comedic effect, but it also is a bit of a cheat though because you know, you can't really cut away during a live stream like that. It, for, it works as a movie, but in, in terms of the uh, aesthetic, it doesn't really work because. You know, why, why even have the movie be live streamed or camera on people's heads if you're just going to edit in in the movie, you know. Um, some of, there's some cool gore effects, but a lot of it's kind of shaking around. You know, they, the camera definitely gets really crazy shaken whenever they have something intense happen to sort of blur the sort of uh, set pieces, which I really didn't like. It felt like the movie was trying to hide it. It is low budget, but still, you can't just have like the camera go super shaky and then, you know, have characters run around screaming, but then be like, oh wait, I forgot my camera. I better put it on my head just in case. It, and it kind of breaks the fourth wall a little bit. Uh, overall, I didn't really care that the main character was a terrible person, but uh, the movie just wasn't that scary. It has a couple of moments at the beginning in the middle, but uh, there's also like 10 minutes of credits, so I think it only happens in the first 15 minutes as well, so in reality the movie's barely like an hour long really. It's kind of like Host. So uh, I give Dashcam a 3 out of 10.